Um. <laughs> Scooter wheels come in all kinds of different colors, all kinds of different designs, all kinds of different core designs, like all, there's a bunch of them, right? This one has a multi-spoke design. This is a 100 millimeter wheel that is one of the cheaper wheels on the Envy Complete scooters. This is a full core wheel that has clear urethane, which is kind of neat. This is like one of the, one of the first one of its kind. This is also a full core design, but this one is really shiny because it's got all kinds of different colors on here because this right here is a wheel sticker. And this one is the wheel that I'm riding right now. This is a very high quality wheel with a wider urethane, a bigger wheel. This is 120 millimeters in diameter, which as opposed to this one, which is the bigger of the other three that I just showed you is 110 millimeters. This is a very fast wheel. Um, it's lightweight, everything you would want in a scooter wheel, but we do all kinds of really weird stuff on this channel. So today we're gonna try to make our own scooter wheels. Now when it comes to making a wheel like this, there is a lot of technology and a lot of work that goes into it. I don't have a factory or anything like that in China, so I don't really have access to a lot of the technology that goes into making one of these, but here's what I got. I do a lot of things with glue in this channel because I need a lot of stuff to stick to either my feet or um, my scooter, whatever the case may be. Um, so we're using hot glue today. Now, the reason I'm using hot glue is because it dries a lot quicker than super glue does and um, I could probably form it a little bit better. So I have um, I have 60 glue sticks, so I'm thinking that should be plenty. Obviously got a hot glue gun. The wheel core that I'm gonna be using is not a brand new wheel core like the uh, Lambo is. Um, I'm actually gonna be using these wheel cores right here. This is a wheel that I used in the bouncy ball wheel video. So if you guys did not see that video, you should go check it out. Link will be in the description below. On this wheel in particular, I used a lot of super glue um, and it's still, there's like a lot of um, super glue residue which is still on the wheel um, and it's a little bit bent up but to be 100% honest with you I don't really know if this is gonna work so the wheel shouldn't be that big of an issue now I went to a couple dollar stores last night to try to find some kind of a mold um, to work so that I could make this wheel at least look like a scooter wheel when it came to the actual urethane um, and I came by quite a few that were different shapes, different sizes, um, different materials, things like that. And the one that I landed on is uh, this rubber one right here. Now, I picked this rubber one as opposed to an aluminum one because of the size. Now, the size of the actual bowl is pretty close to that of a uh, 120 millimeter wheel. I don't know how big I'm gonna be able to make this wheel or if it's really gonna be that even when it comes to shape. Um, but we're gonna try. I really wanted to grab a metal one so that I could probably like kind of scoop the wheel out a little bit easier But that one wasn't quite the size that I needed um, and it wasn't quite the shape that I wanted This one was the closest that I could get so we're gonna try again. I don't know if this is gonna work at all, but um, We're going for it Before we move on I want you guys to know that this like I don't know if this is gonna come out even in the right shape as long as we have a wheel that's somewhat kind of functional, that's what we're going for. And again, I don't know if this is gonna work whatsoever. It might, it may not, it's probably not, but we're trying anyway, you know, we're going for it. All right, so we have our glue sticks right here. They're just normal 99 cent store glue sticks. There's 20 of them in each pack. I don't know how many it's gonna take. I don't think it's gonna take 60 full glow sticks to make this work. Uh, but I would rather have a lot more than not enough. There's 20 right here. I'm thinking I'm thinking it's gonna take about, um, probably about 20 if I had to take a guess. Um, just, and I, that includes the ones that I'm gonna end up wasting and things like that, but this is what we're using. Here's our glue gun. It's just a, like a $1 glue gun or $2 glue gun. Yep, buck 99 right there, so. All right, so we've got our hot glue gun plugged in and everything. I uh, have our glue stick, so I'm gonna put one of the glue sticks in there right now. And um, I think what I'm gonna be doing is I'm just gonna be kind of going at it just in a circle and just essentially filling up this bowl. Hopefully I can pick it out of this bowl. I don't know how, how good of a bond this is gonna be. I know with super glue it'd be really tough to do, but I could probably get it out, but uh, let's see what happens. All right, well, we're actually changing our uh, plan of attack here. Um, because I had it in the bowl, the, the glue didn't really want to seep down and sit correctly on the wheel at all. 
Um, so what I started to do was I started to just kind of run it uh, over the top of this wheel right here and just slowly spinning the wheel because this dries so quickly that I can put my hands all over this right now. And this way I'll, I'll get a, a little bit of a better bond with the glue. So um, again, we're not really going for looks here. So this is probably going to come, come out kind of ugly. Uh, but it's all good. As long as we get something that's somewhat functional, maybe, I'm cool with that. To be 100% honest with you, it doesn't look that bad. I mean, does it look super clean? No. But does it feel like it might work? It actually feels like it might work. Like, it doesn't sound like it's hitting on anything that, that's not urethane-like. So this is gonna be super, super interesting to actually ride this thing and see how it rides. I'm not gonna ride it today. Um, I'm actually gonna be riding it for our next video. So if you guys wanna check this out, um, see how this thing rides. Come back on December 27th because I don't film on Christmas nor do I post on Christmas. Christmas is not a day for YouTube. Christmas is a day for family, friends, and enjoying yourselves and relaxing. So that's what I do on Christmas and that's what you guys should do too and enjoy that time with your friends and family. But the hot glue wheel, the world's first hot glue urethane wheel. We do have like, like I said, it's not like the cleanest thing in the world. Um, I know that there's a lot of imperfections in this thing. Um, but it's as good as it's gonna get for now. And I do, like I said, I think this is gonna work. I think this one might be okay. It's gonna be super bumpy because, I don't know how well you can see that. See how like the lines are? Cause I did it like this way. Uh, I started to do it this way, but it wasn't working that well. So I changed my plan of attack and went this way instead. And um, I'm not gonna say it worked be better, but I'm gonna say it worked more, um, I'll just say more efficiently because it was super hard to actually get the glue to set down evenly, um, which is why I started going side to side because I could, I know I could lay the glue down evenly, but there's like a lot of that really stringy um, kind of hot glue residue, um, like that one that you can see like kind of on my left lens, like right here, um, but whatever. It's dry, so I think I'm gonna t stop using super glue because this was really, really convenient that I could just kind of start gluing and once it, I was done gluing, the thing was ready to go. I could pick it up, I don't have to worry about it being all wet and I don't have to worry about gluing my fingers together because it's chilling. I just can't touch that glue with my fingers because then we're screwed. Again, if you guys want to see this thing being ridden, make sure you guys do come back on December 27th and uh, until next time, I'm out of here with the hot glue wheel. So until then, later.